Hello, my name is Elisa Perino and I'm a research intern at Geisinger and I will be presenting my summer research on the implementation and evaluation of a mail order pricing tool. Nearly one in five adults are prescribed at least five prescriptions and this can be costly. Medication costs can contribute to medication non-adherence and lead to worsening outcomes of patients. Geisinger Health Plan provides cost saving incentives for patients that utilize Geisinger mail order pharmacy. A mail order pricing tool was developed to calculate and compare estimated patient yearly prescription costs for both retail and mail order pharmacy. The objective of this cohort study is to determine the influence this pricing tool has on mail order pharmacy utilizations. The tool is an Excel spreadsheet for the healthcare team members to choose the patient's Geisinger Health Plan Gold Insurance and enter the patient-specific medication list. The tool then calculates yearly costs for 30-day retail, 100-day retail, and 100-day mail order, where the patient-specific cost differences are seen in real time. An example of the tool is seen here. The tool was implemented in a cluster randomized step wedge pre-post study. Geisinger and medication therapy disease management pharmacists were granted access to the tool. Data was collected from electronic health records and dot phrase capture dot MOPT was captured. Patients with at least one MTDM appointment and Geisinger Health Plan Gold Insurance were included. Additionally, there was a survey conducted of tool users. There was 47 unique dot phrases captured. Eight were excluded as ineligible patients or incomplete information. More patients were not agreeable to switch to mail order, and there was no association between cost savings and willingness to switch. There were 11 survey responses, and the top reason for not using the tool was they did not think about the tool during encounters or did not have enough time during each visit. There was a higher proportion of prescriptions that were sent to mail order after the mail order pricing tool. However, post-period patients were still two times more likely to stop using mail order than to switch. Use of the tool was voluntary and manual. The documented use was low. And despite the higher proportions of prescriptions, patients were still more likely to stop using mail order. This may suggest that patients with higher prescription burden were more likely to switch to mail order. Concerns about security and reliability of mail order may also have prevented patients from switching, especially considering mail delays during the COVID-19. This was an intention to treat analysis, therefore not all patients analyzed were exposed to the tool. Examining only those exposed may give better understanding to the tool's effect. In conclusion, a manual mail order pricing tool did not increase the number of patients who used mail order, and a better implementation strategy may need to be employed for a mail order pricing tool to have an effect on the number of mail order users.